my name is Karim Nagy, and we're going to focus today on the south of Egypt, which is called Asaid. Asaid. And a style of dance that comes from the south of Egypt called Rux Asaya, dance of the stick. And in the previous lesson, you got to hear the Saidi rhythm played. And that is the rhythm that we're going to use today to dance this stick dance, Raksa Asaya. I'm holding the Asaya. This is a stick, a solid reed pulled out from the River Nile. And I'm holding this Asaya stick down against the ground. While my body is pulsing, I'm counting to eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Let's hit that doom sound on one, four, and five on the ground. So here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Doom, uh, uh, doom, doom, uh, doom, uh, doom, doom. I have the beat now. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Nice. You can see the dance of the stick, the Saidi Raksa Saya dance in the south of Egypt when there are weddings, birthday parties, or special events where people are gathering to celebrate. The origin of this dance is sparring. That's when two people might duel with each other using the Asaya striking each other's stick as a way of defending themselves or as a type of sport. What we're going to do today are three dance movements because this asaya is used for dance. I will first start with my right hand going forward and then my left hand going forward. Rowing forward, left hand forward. Similar to rowing a boat like that. Okay? And then, while I do that, the middle of the asai is towards my chest. Now I am going to add my feet. In this case, I will lead with my right foot. I will step forward with my right foot. I won't move my left foot. And then I'll step back with my right foot. My left leg will lift up a little bit. Right leg goes forward, right leg goes back, left leg lifts. Right leg goes forward, right leg goes back, left leg. And then I would row, my right hand follows my right leg forward and back. Okay? So with the rhythm, rowing forward and rowing back, rowing forward, rowing back and rowing forward, rowing back. Let's do the second movement now. Here, I am lifting it above my head and I'm holding it with one hand. In this case, I'm holding it with my right hand and it is parallel to the ground over my head. My right arm is straight up and my elbow is locked. And here you can really see my traditional clothing in a very bold and poetic way. This is called the galabeya. It's like a shirt that goes to the ground. Very common to wear it for men and women in the south of Egypt. So now I have the beat in my body. And I'm going to keep the asaya in one place, but I'm going to step forward and back with my feet. Right foot forward and right foot back. Very proud and right leg forward, right leg back. But the asaya stays in the place. But I have the beat in my body. Very good. Now for the third motion. I am holding both hands up. 
and I am clenching the asaya with both hands. I will keep the asaya parallel to the ground, and then I'm going to go in this motion right, left, right, then pause. Then my hands go again, left, right, left, pause. And when I'm now in my left side, my right elbow is bent. So now I go right, left, right, left elbow is bent, left, right, left, right elbow is bent. So with the beat, right, left, 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 right, left. Now see what the feet are doing here. I'm now going right, left, and my left leg goes up. So my asai is going to the right, but my left leg goes up. Left, right, left. So right, left, right, left leg goes up. Left, right, left, right leg is up. Right leg, huh? Left, right, left, right, up. Right leg, right, left, up. Left, right, left, right, up. All right, everyone. Let's put on the Saidi rhythm, like the one that I teach in the other lesson, okay? And you can use any stick you want. I would like to ask you all to make sure that you have some supervision and that people know that if you are in the house, to make sure that you are careful. Beat in the body first. My shoulders are going up and down, and then the whole body is going down. Shoulders, whole body. Shoulders, whole body, yeah. Shoulders, whole body, that's the groove. And now let's row, right and back. Right and back, and my foot is going, and my hand is going. There we go, and rowing, yeah. Nice. Second movement, and there, forward, back. My left arm is behind my back. Here we go, forward. Right leg forward, right leg back. Here we go. Nice and proud. Make the galabea sway. And now both hands holding third one. Left, right, right, right left, right, left. Right, left leg up, right leg up, left leg up, right leg up, and. Great job, everybody. It's wonderful to get to share my culture with you through the Kennedy Center Teaching Arts Presents series. Because when we learn about other cultures, we get to know people's personality, we get to know people's vibe and character, and then we are much more likely to be friends with everybody. What a great opportunity to learn with each other. So my name is Karim Nagy, and I was teaching you Saidi, Raksasaya, stick dance from the south of Egypt. I hope to see you all again.